I'm wearing my Rick and Morty shirt and literally all I've been thinking is Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty. Rick. 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 planter. Today we are in crisis mode, friends. <laughs> I found my propagation tank completely infested with spider mites at midnight the other day. Today is Sunday. I think I found them Friday night. So I went into obviously like full-blown panic mode because the culprit was this witch right here. That old philodendron luxuriance with that velvety leafness. I mean, honestly, it's my own fault. I really don't do much maintenance on my propagation tank unless my plants are thirsty and that is just my, my my fault, honestly. So I noticed the newest leaf was just taking a while to unfurl and I just happened to look at it and noticed a whole bunch of webbing and a whole bunch of adult mites. Oh, it's so gross to think about. And so I pulled everything out. This is my current status of it. It is very sad. It does have some new growth coming in. I kind of, I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do with this plant, honestly. You all know I have been feeling quite overwhelmed with it for a while. I'm just checking the leaves to make sure I don't see any more mites. I've been overwhelmed with this plant for a little bit, but I really don't want to give up on it. So I don't know if I should like rehab it and sell it or just rehab it and just try my best to make it come back because I do not want to kill this plant. <laughs> I can't kill this plant. Not everything had visible mites on it, but this is such a close propagation tank that I'm pretty sure everything like was contaminated in some way so this is my last plant that i have to take out and treat is my pitcher plant and i'm really sad because as you can see this pitcher is about to open and this is the first picture i've gotten from this plant and i'm afraid if i have to like uproot it and move it and pot it up it's going to kill it off um the moss i really want to try to save but i don't know like i feel like it's just so far gone and so far contaminated but I also might just soak it in some hydrogen and hope for the best because it's a lot of moss in here and I don't want to waste it. This is the current state of everything that was in the propagation tank. I did throw away, I think, two plants, my Peperomia Russo and my Begonia Black Mamba because my Russo just had way too many leaves to treat. It was really lush and full and I'm really sad that I had to toss it, but it's just 
too much of a pain. And I was tired, like I said, it was midnight when I find, found this out. And my begonia, because it didn't look like it had mites on it, but I knew once I started to treat it, it would just get some sort of fungal infection because that's what begonias are notorious for. So I just didn't want to deal with that heartbreak and I tossed it. I soaked all the pots, I treated all my propagations. So everything has been here. I have patient zero in this bag for extra humidity and to keep it extra separated. And oh, good news on this Amedrium. It actually has a quite a long root, which I suspected because this leaf hadn't died off yet. So that's exciting. My carrii is doing absolutely amazing. Look at that. I literally put her in high humidity and in a slightly warmer area and she started pushing out all this new growth. So I'm so excited for her. She had some spider mites too. And I have to pot these up. And I ended up putting, putting this with my other variegated compacta because uh, why not? They look super cute. And this variegated San Liana, I don't know what to do with her. I ended up getting some orchid bark and charcoal to for soil amendment since I have to pot up those plants. All I have is perlite in my coca coir right now and that's just not enough for me. And I also got good old systemic granules which aren't for spider mites. The granules are usually for like thrips or mealybugs or aphids. They don't specifically treat spider mites, but that is also why I got Captain Jack's um, because it specifically says thrips and spider mites and more. So they're all gonna die. I already treat them with hydrogen and soapy water. And am I going ham? Yes. Yes, I am. I always go ham when I see pest. I'm not going to lie and say I never get pests because I get thrips quite often. I haven't gotten thrips this year actually, but I've had them three times in the past. <laughs> it's been fun. I haven't had this bad of a spider mite outbreak ever, but that's also because I, like I said, neglect my propagation tank. <sighs> so lesson learned. I also got this little cute, adorable autumn fern to put in my propagation, or not propagation, my terrarium. I already have a lemon button fern and a heart leaf fern. I'm gonna take this peperomia out and just make it all ferns because they do really well in there. And I think it would be really beautiful to have a whole bunch of different ferns just overgrown. Maybe add a little like fairy and do like a little mini fairy garden. Thank you. Oh, look at that. Quick puppy update. Roxy, oh, if you don't follow me on Instagram, uh, you probably wouldn't know, but she got fixed a week ago, spaded, and I was really nervous, but she's fine. She's doing great. They gave me a sedative for her to take because we all know she is a very hyper puppy. <laughs> The sedative didn't really do much. Like instead of her being at 100, she was at like 90. She did sleep really good though. Anyways, she's recovering really well. Thank you everybody that sent well wishes over because it was really like nerve wracking, especially the first day. Cause she was so calm, obviously like getting off the anesthesia. And it was just weird <laughs> her not being herself. But she's doing so well. Living that cone life the best she can. I'm going to light my stress relief candle. Eucalyptus and spearmint. It smells so good. I actually love eucalyptus. It is my like top favorite scent ever. Okay, so here is the cocoa that I broke down last week in my last plant chores vlog. And it's just been sitting here, so I'm finally going to uh, mix it up. I hope you all are liking the mix of plant vlogs I'm going to start throwing in. I really try to post two times a week, and I feel like that's just more easy and easier when I do some 
vlogging style plant related videos i always have to keep it plant related obviously because this is a plant channel so that's why i think it would just be fun to do plant chores and vlog it and add a little bit of like plant shopping like i did today and just random stuff because you know one thing that doesn't get talked about often is how high maintenance of a hobby it is to own plants especially this many plants so i always have some chores to do literally especially now since it's a growing season and there's a lot of repotting to do and even though it's august i still do repot in the fall time because we have pretty mild and pretty warm fall season here in georgia so repotting really isn't an issue like I still repot in the fall so hopefully you all like it and if you do definitely let me know in the comments so I can just continue to create content for y'all that you like and I'm still going to be doing like regular sort of like informational advice giving type videos you know like just the regular plant videos also I'm just going to be doing those like one vlog a week and one regular planting video a week you know <laughs> we have my expert soil mixer here so that nursery i went to is actually called pike and it is it is a big box store um but it's not like home depot and lowe's where they have hardware stuff everything they have is strictly plant related so either like landscaping or for indoor plants so they have they don't carry any miracle grow which is absolutely amazing they have pro better grow orchid mix and this is straight fur bark obviously for <laughs> phalaenopsis and orchids but it's great for aeration and it's really wet that's weird but that's kind of the mix it has a lot of different size pieces which is what i like because a lot of these orchid mixes have really big pieces and it's just not ideal for small plants when you're potting up small plants and i do have a lot of smaller plants to pot up sometimes and if you missed my last video i do use coco coir as my base instead of using soil i don't like to use soil and then i always just mix whatever i have on hand whether that be perlite orchid mix pumice charcoal pretty much anything i can find i use it all i think i just got a splinter because i do like to make my mix extra airy and tony now we're going to use charcoal I, I don't really use charcoal often they say it is good for like purifying your soil i don't know about that it does add aeration though and i didn't want to use perlite again i already have perlite in this mix and perlite isn't my favorite so i'm using charcoal yeah and just like that this box this bag is empty potting mix is all nice and mixed oh. now i'm going to pot up this Syndapsis jade that I have. It is not happy <laughs> after being out of its pot for two days. I had it soaking in some water for a little bit. Um, I don't know. It is what it is at this point, right? This has been one of my slowest growing Syndapsis and I want one so bad because I love the jade and I love how they're kind of like all green and matte. So I'm trying, I'm trying. <laughs> Next, I have this Vericosum that is one of, I think, three I have right now because my former Vericosum fell and broke into pieces and I propagated all of them. So there's the roots on that. They're pretty good. This was rooted in perlite. So now I'm actually going to pot it up. So hopefully they will bounce back for me. Next is to thoroughly water them and spray them down. I know pests really, truly love those velvet type plants. So definitely going to be treating these guys and just hope that they don't die on me. <laughs> uh, Cause I have definitely over treated quite a few plants. Um, I haven't actually killed a plant from over treatment, but 
have I bought it close to the brink of death? Yes, multiple times. Now I'm in my makeshift plant room and I am going to set it up. Um, sorry, I did forget to put my mic on this entire video, so I'm just leaving it as is. So if it's a little off, if the audio is a little off, my apologies. But I did end up getting this plant stand, just like a regular bamboo plant stand. And now I have these hexagon shelf things, honeycomb shelf things that I got from actually Target. It was $3 in their little bullseye parking or bullseye area. And I've had all these plant stuff. I still have more plant like styling stuff. I don't know what to call these. And um, I want to decorate with them. You know, I had some of them up in my old house. And this is actually a print from Tyler Thrasher. He sent it out with his Grow Damn plant journals. And then this one, actually, somebody made me in a plant swap. This is glass. Um, this is Curiosity Garden. That's her name on Instagram. She makes a whole bunch of these. I have another leaf somewhere that I want to hang up. But this one I actually won in a giveaway, in a giveaway she did. So I love this. It's a pink, it's a pink princess leaf. And this is one of my absolute favorites. And this is a handmade embroidery hoop from Botanical Vic on Instagram. She does lots of different embroidery creations and this is one I got her to do for me. And that is my Queen Anthurium. I absolutely love this begonia back when I loved begonias and that was my baby Monstera at the time. So I'm really excited to hang that up. She has a lot of cool creations, so definitely go check her out. But yeah, so I, um, kind of did a layout of what I want to put on that wall there and then just have like a little cute filming area. I am definitely not the best at decorating so hopefully this will look okay. It looks okay in my head. I don't know but if you don't like it don't tell me because I can't handle the criticism. Okay, so there's the final product. Oh, let me move this. And I kind of like it. It looks a little bare, um, but I do have more stuff that I'm still trying to find. I still feel like I'm not fully unpacked, even though I've been in this house for like two months. Like there's still stuff I can't find. Anyways, as we can see, this shelf is a little bare and I do kind of want to change it. So I bought, ow on the hammer. I bought some more plants and yes I am bringing my King Anthurium up here. He is getting burnt by the grow light and I have no other place to put him because he has such a crazy growth pattern. Like what is this dude? So I'm going to put him up here where he can have his own dedicated space and he has some sunlight. So hopefully he'll be happy. I think he'll be happy up here. All right, now I'm just going to, I don't know, organize this somehow. Okay, I'm so excited. So here's the final product from top to bottom. Still have more space for more plants. I'm not trying to really fill that up because I still have plants to bring in uh, that are outside, but just real quick, up here is a uh, Hartley philodendron that I had started and it's just so cute. Here is a Cebu Blue that I just potted up. Um, that one, I don't know if I'll keep there, just depends on how it grows. And then here is a Silver Band Maranta. I wanna change the pot on this. I don't know what kind of pot I wanna put it in, but this one's doing great. It's fully rooted. Maranta are great lower light plants and um, there is a window in this room. So I think this one will do just fine. And here up top is my Anthurium Fetchii. And then I have a Pearls and Jade. Uh, or enjoy pothos here. And my beautiful tall begonia, Lana, one of the only few cane begonias I have left. And over there is a, some sort of bird's nest in Severia. 
and my Skindapsis argyreus. And then in the middle, I have my beautiful Chiflera plant that I have been so obsessed with lately. I think it's super cute. I have a Begonia Rex there, and then I have my Mandula Pothos, and then a Neon Pothos, and then my beautiful Lush Lemon Lime Maranta, and right in the middle is a Dracaena. So, yes! Oh, I'm so excited about this. This is going to be a great background for some plant videos, and this bamboo shelf i will link down below it was just a little confusing to put together at first but once i started doing it it was really easy and then it also has wheels that i'm actually going to attach because this isn't going to stay here permanently i'm actually going to put it in front of the window uh when i'm not filming just so it can be in the sunlight a little uh secret there for you <laughs> this isn't the permanent setup but these are so, oh, I love it so much. I think that's it for today. I'm actually going to bring my quarantine plants up here to quarantine um, away from everything. They're kind of in the way of my kitchen right now. And I am going to pick up a plant tomorrow. And this is actually like, oh, another wish list plant once again for a really good deal. And as always, from my plant dealer. She did another purge um, a few days ago and this one was at a discounted price, price because it did get a little sun damage but it's literally like barely anything and I was like yes! So I can't wait to pick that one up. So excited. I will see y'all tomorrow. <laughs> Are we ready to see the beauty of the plant that I just got? Okay. Look at that. Wow. Okay. Cannot believe this plant. This is a philodendron, either squamiferum or squamiferum. I'm just going to say squamiferum. Holy crapola. Okay. Do you guys see this hairiness? Ooh, who is she? This is like... Oh my gosh, this is insane. It's so crazy. It's literally like an extra hairy leg, you know? <laughs> like it's December in the middle of winter and you haven't shaved in a minute. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is insane. And it's massive and it has some new growth. It's kind of coming out of the pot because this is like so huge and top heavy. So I'm going to have to maybe, I don't know, put it on a pole or give it some some kind of support or maybe when I pot it better it'll just hold itself up but wow what a beauty so it does have some burn on it which is perfectly okay because it is still incredible wow I feel like I need to name this plant oh wow I don't know what to name it hmm drop a name below for a good uh name for this guy I don't know why, but I don't name all my plants, but there are some plants that just need names, you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> my Pastizanum, I named him Pesto. My Money Tree is actually named Penny. My Old Man Cactus is Eustis. So, you know, just some plants just need names. My Philodendron Pedatum is Mushu because that's just the perfect name for that plant. So. Yeah, and now we need a name for this one. So let me know what you think a good one will be. A little update on one of my plants for my propagation tank. <sighs> Philodendron Luxuriance is not looking good. Oh, this really breaks my heart. The new growth there still looks healthy and it hasn't died off. So there is hope. This leaf doesn't look completely it, it dead, but it's definitely floppy. Uh, I hope I didn't give it root rot. Oh man, I don't even know what to do at this point. I was going to leave it in my, in like a bin by itself, so that way it has some humidity, but maybe I'll just leave it out for now, and then tonight I will put it in the bin. Oh my god, it's so sad. This makes me really freaking sad, okay. I don't even want to think about this right now. I also got these grow lights from Amazon. 
and I'm quite shocked at how heavy the box is. <laughs> I mean, this one isn't like so heavy I can't pick it up, but it's definitely heavy for some grow lights. Oh, okay. I think this is a heavy duty type of grow light. I forgot, like for growing food. Um, that's gonna be good, but I have no clue where I'm gonna put it. Whoa. Can you see that? It's literally like a panel. Oh, let me see. Because I do want to do a little corner, maybe downstairs in my living room, maybe up here, of like big, of all my big plants. Because big plants can't fit in on a shelf and my shelves are too small for some of my biggest plants, especially the ones outside. If I do this little corner, I'm obviously gonna need a light over it. And I think this, will be perfect for that. Comes with like hooks and rope so that you can hang it. It's just a matter of how I'm gonna hang it. And that is that. It's kind of heavy. Now I can actually start planning this corner. I already have the image in my head. It's gonna be a corner of just like foliage. Ooh, it's gonna be nice. Maybe my new Squammy will be up there. Oh, look at it. <laughs> I'm gonna actually clean it up um now and repot it because it desperately needs it it is fully rooted though which is awesome because i have a bad rap for propagating bigger more established plants it's a lot harder anyways that will wrap it up for my chores this week um, aside from potting up this scomiferum i hope you all enjoyed this i hope you all are enjoying the planty vlogs vlogs i like it because it's just i don't know it makes me be more casual and maybe get to know everybody a little bit better and y'all can get to know me on a more personal level so hope you all are enjoying it definitely let me know in the comments down below let me know any other videos you want to see from me any topics you want me to cover i want to know it all so with all that being said i hope you all are staying safe staying happy and healthy and i hope you have a wonderful week Bye.